Christian Livingstone here and I'm uh, working on a little project with my Dixon 3304. It's the friction drive transaxle, kind of old school, low tech, uh, zero turn mower and uh, I've done other videos on it and uh, on one of them, an early one, I very cavalierly just uh, removed the uh, the uh, vinyl drive chain tensioner because it was a poor design and you know it had a, a take up screw uh, a vault red and that would tend to get bent and uh, it just wasn't very good and uh, you know that was uh, four or five years ago the thing that I'm going to do while I'm uh, in the midst of this uh, transaxle rebuilding I'm going to uh, see what happens if I uh, alleviate this whole uh, idler sprocket right here you can see it's uh, a tensioner for the uh, uh, final drive in the chain and uh, I don't like that uh, this assembly this uh, you know tends to bend and I have to adjust it and straighten it up so it's uh, you know perceived by me as kind of a weakness maybe it uh, does have a uh, an important function we'll see uh, after I do it and then you know I may have to restore it but uh, I believe I can keep a, a straight uh, uh, direct drive and the only thing I'm kind of wondering offhand is after this is uh, brought all the way up the deck that is with that adjustment right there that handle but uh, if the chain will start to hit on the deck itself I don't believe it is and sure enough uh, without all that uh, idler sprocket uh, hardware in there the uh, I took uh, two lengths out uh, as you can see on the tire I just popped out two lengths and uh, put the master link back on there and the chain is just fine I don't need a half link or anything like that this is pretty good I what I've done is I've used a, a half links in place of that to you know create a, a nice tight uh, taint, uh, chain tension without that idler there and it's and it's worked uh, well but now the chain is getting uh, stretched out and you know when you go in reverse uh, sometimes you'll get that crunchy sound where it's kind of grating on the edge of the uh, sprocket so <clears throat> I'm either going to take out that uh, half link and see if I can you know uh, uh, jump this chain onto here uh, nice and tight but if not uh, I'm going to use a, a, a different kind of an idler these are uh, idlers I bought uh, online tax-free uh, free shipping maybe even I think uh, uh, they were 1843 or some crazy price like that they might have even come from China I forget directly from China to my mailbox but uh, they seemed well priced and the design seemed uh, pretty good they're for uh, 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 like uh, enduro uh, motorcycles uh, you know just to mount right under the chain and uh, Give, give you that take up there and so you know I've looked at these and uh, uh, they look like they'll uh, do just fine uh, I might have to weld a, an extension uh, flange out here to get two bolts right up under there and uh, I think it'll do great and you can see how I'm using some of the uh, cast off uh, parts as the uh, flange I'm, I traced out uh, what I think will fit uh, well on this uh, flange right here and add to it because there's only uh, one uh, place for a bolt here and so I've cut out uh, a piece of the existing stuff so I'll uh, weld it across there and under and over and I don't know maybe even build up a little gusset coming down off here drill another hole here because uh, that's where all the uh, tension is back and forth nothing lateral from I'm probably gonna hit this with the uh, you know quite a few amps and I'm only set to about 13 uh, CFH of uh, argon that might be a little low but uh, let's let's just do it okay so there's the idler and uh, it works well it works uh, quite well but you know Honestly, what I noticed uh, uh, after installing it is uh, I'd still get some chatter and uh, it was coming from these chains here. These chains, you know, uh, they'll stretch too. And uh, so I, uh, uh, 
you know, decided just to change them out because they, they were pretty sloppy and, and they can kind of grind uh, as they get uh, stretched out and they'll turn in. The newer chains are, are just uh, a lot tighter and, uh, you know, you don't want these to be too tight because these uh, cups go up and down a little bit. So, you know, I, earlier, uh, a few years ago, I, I uh, put a half link on there and tried to uh, really cinch it up that way, but I thought, no, no, that's no good. So I just left the chains uh, as they were, and they were okay for, uh, you know, the, the next couple of years until just recently. And uh, that idler... Uh, 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 you know, is is a benefit, but uh, these need to be changed out too. So I'll I'll just mention that. Uh, you know, keep your system uh, uh, you know in order, and uh, remember these chains too, because if they stretch out too much, you'll hear some you know uh, I don't know grating, grinding uh, when you're turning, especially you know the the torque forces on these will cause this uh, chain to twist and kind of ride up on the side and then crunch back down. So that's what I was hearing. I thought it was uh, on the outer chain, but it wasn't. Those uh, idlers uh, helped uh, nonetheless. It does feel smoother. And, you know, out in the yard, everything's looking good. And the, uh, the garden out there is looking good. I got melons coming. It's, uh, it's all good. But uh, yeah. The uh, uh, Dixon, uh, this is kind of like the follow-up on, on the Dixon mowers. Uh, there's a, I don't know, a few people out there who uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for that reason. And uh, uh, so here it is, just a little more follow-up on these old Dixon, Dixon uh, uh, friction drive uh, cone uh, uh, type uh, transaxle uh, mowers. Uh, I still dig mine, you know, I, I'm not ready to call it quits and go over to the uh, uh, you know the uh, hydraulic type unit so I'm still enjoying mine but a uh, little up upgrade uh, on the uh, idler and uh, replacing those uh, inner chains uh, uh, will go a long way okay thanks